Hey guys, it's Firestar here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. Now today, we're going to solve the second of this two-part puzzle in the main hall that we can actually explore the rest of this damn castle. Because this castle's big enough as it is already. Alright. Break the, break the vase. Vases. Oh, fuck. I don't know. And that's the first emblem piece. Okay. Um, bu -bu. Gotta light the candles Fire! as we go around. Fire! Do that. Uh, camera. Okay. Use the red trinity here. Charge that piece off the platform and shatter it for the next emblem piece. So that makes two out of four. I like these candles. Oh wow. Fire. I blocked it. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, push this over. For a treasure chest with the third emblem piece, that's three. Um bu -bu. Fire. 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 Okay, there's that. The stone is etched with a thunderbolt. Okay, so use Thundara. Drops that platform and then that's net. Which covers the little fog mist thing. That way we can get the final puzzle. The final puzzle piece. Emblem piece. Whatever it's called. Two. That. Get that. And fourth piece, which is right here. Okay. Oh, oh, whoops. Now we just gotta put them in place here. And voila! Open sesame! Why? It was mine! Know this. The heart that is strong and true shall win the Keyblade. What? You're saying my heart's weaker than his? For that instant, it was. However, you can become stronger. You showed no fear in stepping through the door to darkness. It held no terror for you. Plunge deeper into the darkness, and your heart will grow even stronger. What should I do? It's really quite simple. Open yourself to the darkness, that is all. Let your heart, your being, become darkness itself. You can become stronger, but you gotta beat me first, bitch. Okay. Alright, so... Wait, that, that'll that take... Oh my... This, these guys. Gravity's still the most reliable way to do this, even with this keyboard. What is this? This is the upper to upper level. Hey, you take me. Ah, oh, there's a chest up here. See ya. And before another gummy piece. Or a cow. Every time I say that, I'm wrong. Ugh. I guess that's a good. I guess that's a good thing. All right, 
I guess that's what I meant by upper level. Well, it takes me up there. So if I hit it again... Lower level. Now where will this take me? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, it's actually taking me down to the lower level. Okay. Uh, and there's Heartless here. Okay. Almost killed that guy. Okay, actually, before we continue, okay, Lucky Strikes on Sora. Donald doesn't have Lucky Strike. It's one tire part due to boost effects. I don't want to get rid of anything Goofy has. Okay, let's get an equipment. Give him some AP boost and equipment. Master earring, perfect. Okay, let's go back. To, let's go back to Goffy here. Give him lucky strike. Increase our chances. Is the lunge, the bellow, berserk, infuriate, second chance. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, none of the rest of it's important because we're really using beast much anyway. All right, now we're back in the waterway where we were earlier with. Well, with just me and Beast, so... Who these guys to kill? Oh wow, flatten like both of them. Cool. Dead. Dead, all this money. Alright, these wizards are annoying. The best way to do it, never finish a combo. If you finish a combo, they will just teleport away. Like that. Your best, your best bet to get them to not teleport is to just two hits. Like just two hit and then break, two hits and then break. Then yeah, that's the way back to the left stop. Oh wait, there's two paths to the left stop. Which one did I? Which, which one did I come from? That we truly are exploring this castle today, boys and girls. And wyverns, another new heartless in this world. Okay. Okay, that's where I came from. Okay. This is- that goes to the dungeon. Okay. At this point now, blue trinities aren't really don't really give you anything beneficial at this point. I'm just doing it for the sake of completion for the journal because the journal does keep track of how many of the trinities you have found. So, back up. No. Oh, no! Oh, I just came from there. Go back up. Which part of the lift stop does this take us? That is definitely not the way we're going, which is why I'm doing this. This is interesting. Oh, it just gave me- oh, this just, just gave me Mithril. Alright. Alright, I mean, I'm not mad. That's pretty cool. <laughs> just gotta go back now. Hmm. I'm just gonna go back and then just progress through, through the rest of this castle because there's a lot more of this castle to cover. Uh, which, which way 
Where did I go? Castle gates. Okay, yeah, this is the one we're supposed to be going. Alright, now be careful with fighting the wyverns here because. If you jump off or fall off, you have to backtrack from the waterway, and that's a big pain. And these guys do not let up. Oh, I need to have gravity and stuff on shortcut. Actually, let me do that right now. Customize or uh, Thundara and then Gravira, because we're gonna be using those spells a lot to clear the, the Heartless around here. They are pretty strong at this point, and doing that just clear allows you to clear them that much easier. Jump off, slide over here. Oh, wait, wrong spell. There we go. This will be puppies. Yay, puppies 94 to 96. So, glide back over here. And take the path up. I feel like we're going to this castle faster <laughs> than I had originally thought we were going to. Alright, so... We're gonna, while we're gonna take the leisurely, leisurely stroll, let's go into first person and we can actually look... I mean, just look at the castle. A little heartless symbol in front. Well, it's like a broken heartless symbol. That's pro that was probably put there like after... Oh! Heartless. Uh, wait, fight like this. Let me not, I'm gonna die. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Oh, okay. Ether. Alright, casual looking. Yeah, that has to that had to have been like a new addition because I don't recall ever seeing that in Birth by Sleep. It's definitely would have made sense because Birth by Sleep the events were the dead of words, English language. The events in Birth by Sleep occurred before Ansem the Wise even started studying the the workings of the heart and the heartless. Because it was Zaynor that made him want to study that. So, yeah. Uh, and another Trinity. I believe it's just another like cottage or camp, etc., or something. Oh, two, two of them. Two cottages. Oh, and a mega elixir. A mega elixir will prove to be very useful for when we get to the final world. Down there. No treasure chest. Okay, now we can go up safely. Um. Okay, we're at the Great Crest. Okay, so oh wait, we're not. We're not. Wait, is there another? There is a chest here. Okay, not not crazy. Or a calcum. Okay. Okay, now that we're going to move on to this portion of the Great Crest, because this is where the arduous climb really starts. That's one thing I've never really showcased, and that is these these summons. We've seen Tinkerbell. We well, actually we haven't even seen Tinkerbell. I'll showcase Tinkerbell later and later on when we get to the boss fights. But for now, we're, it's time for us to challenge just for me to show you guys the summons and what they do. And 
that's our first summon layer Simba. Base. Hold on, let me heal up. Let me heal up. Basically, you just she just charges. Uh, 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 I even get room to do this. Charge up for. Basically, if you get it fully charged up, the uh, the uh, proud war command would have came up, and it would just gave out a vicious war, like like what you saw Simba do, but to a greater effect. And. I'm getting bodied because these, cause these heart, the heartless introduced here just want to keep appearing and disappearing on me because that is an attack for some reason and, it, and that is dumb. Get out of here! Okay. Oh my goodness! It never ends. And we'll get to the next room, I'll show the next summon. Okay, kill that. Oh, more heartless. Are we done yet? Ooh, that counterattack is smooth. Okay, yeah, we are. Gravity. Oh, before another. Oh, it's inaugurating. I keep thinking they're gonna be gummy pieces now. Maybe. Okay, now, since we're climbing, we're actually gonna start getting the good items. Alright, so. Is that a room down there? Oh, I'll figure that out later. Alright. And that's from time for the next summon, which will be Genie. Genie, whoa. All right. All right, and that is what Genie does. When you when you when his face is on a target, when when you see his face on a target, oh my Jesus, Jeepers Jeepers. And like, maybe this wasn't the best world to show the summons. Just a hunch. <laughs> these things can like two and three shot me. Oh my god. Okay, Donald learned MP Rage. Okay, if all those things Donald get hit will actually be useful. Oh my goodness. There we go. Anyway, what, G what Genie does is. If if you know if you notice when he was summoned, his face his face was on a lot of the heartless, and essentially and his unique attack command is Showtime, and when you use Showtime, he'll kill you Thunder Gravity and Stop Spells on the mark on the targets marked with his face when Showtime is used. So I mean it's very useful in, like when you have a l bunch of waves of heartless just scattered about, you just want to eliminate them quickly. And the next summon, probably the worst summon in my in this game at least. All right, so we got Dim Dimbo, and we're just gonna spray him with water now. The water spray does a little damage. What makes this move it's what makes the move good is is the fact that you are immune to damage while the summon while while you use that move and while the summon itself is active. Which is 
very useful. Luckily, they incorporated part of that in Kingdom Hearts 2 of the limits, and I feel like the way they handled that was better than what they did with Dumbo. Especially since the, da the damage Dumbo does in, in general is just so minuscule that it doesn't feel like the whole da the whole with the whole iframes on it will make it worthwhile. That's my take on it, though. Okay. Alright, so I got their abilities real quick. Donald got MP Rage while we were in the last room. Equip that. And I gained a combo plus. I'm not mistaken. That cost, it cost one point, right? Okay. Exam that. We might actually be getting through this castle much faster. Oh, wait, no, it's 21 minutes. Dan. No, we're, we're, we're right on queue. Gravity. I just Thunder. go to spell for the wyverns. That way I don't get knocked off. Or fall off. Okay. And this. Climb up. Oh, I never got that chest. Oh, uh, we gotta come. We gotta come back to this world for story purposes later on. Anyway, so that's when I'll get the chest. Um, jeez. Okay. Oh. Hey. Okay. Oh, shiny crystal. Perfect. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now since I've combo plus, I can make it... Now, I have a four hit combo, so I can just use three hits to kill the uh, witches, which is perfect. Start out with more, more, more deeps. And we get another Mega Elixir. Awesome. Turn that thing to get... Another chest from that, from that, from the lifts, from the lift stop section that you enter through the library. We're not gonna worry about that now, or or worry about that later. We'll just continue moving through the castle for now. Oh, uh, more! Get down there. Thunder! Thunder! Spam thunder. Please dead. Please freaking dead. There we go. And all the goofy killed that on their own. Perfect. On to the list stop. That's and with all of that done. So, I see the path has emerged at last. Yes, the keyhole to the darkness. Unlock it, and the Heartless will overrun this world. What do I care? The darkness holds no power over me. Rather, I will use its power to rule all worlds. Such confidence. Oh. Ah! Impossible! The princesses of heart are all here! It must be her! Without her heart, she will never be able to release her power. The king's fools are here. I'll deal with them myself. You stay here and guard the princesses.
Ooh, okay, we in the chapel. But that's gonna do it for us for this episode. Now, on the next episode... Oh man, things are gonna be crazy. So stick around, I'll see you guys then.